What's up, people? It's been such a long time since I dropped a video. I mean, a Knicks video, a New York Knicks video. I've been on that NCAA 14. Um, and I know a lot of you are wondering what, what's going on with me. Because uh, last time I uploaded a video was like a couple months ago. And it was an NCAA video. And I've been very hush, very mum on the Knicks. But basically, I'll just give you a life update. I just moved into an apartment. So I've really just, last couple months, just been focusing. More, you know, I've had some hope, but it's been the majority of me moving in. So I've just really have, had to put my YouTube channel aside, put the Knicks aside to really focus on moving in and, you know, focusing on this new chapter in my life. I'm not done officially moving in. And, like, I'm, I'm, I moved in officially. However, uh, I'm still waiting for a couple things from Boss Furniture. To, to call it, you know, to be official so I can, you know, have my desks and uh, I am missing an end table too, but that will all come in due time. But right now I am officially, not officially, but I am in my new apartment. Not now I'm in the car, but I'm in my new apartment. I got my new place. So I just been trying to get accustomed to that, to that lifestyle. So that's why I have been very quiet on YouTube, but um, I'm going to give you a, a very a in-depth video on the Knicks, on basketball in general, on sports in general, on life in general. Uh, the YouTube channel is not dead. Uh, it's, it's, it's getting better than ever. I've just been so busy, but now everything is kind of mellowed down right now. So I'm just giving you an update. Uh, shout out to the people who have been commenting, asking for my thoughts on the Knicks. I got, I got thoughts on the, I got thoughts on the Knicks, man. I got thoughts on the Knicks. Um, the only thing I can really give you at this moment, I'm going to give you a little tease. It's time to play the young guys now, and it's time to see if Mitchell Robinson can play so we can pay him. If not, you got to go. Uh, we're stuck with Julius Randle, so there's no point in moving him. I would have moved him for De'Aaron Fox, put a couple first-rounders in there, and have De'Aaron Fox be our future point guard. But, you know, that didn't happen. But, you know, in terms of the Knicks, Am I disappointed? Yeah, I'm disappointed. But am I shocked? I am not shocked. I think last year was a, to be honest with you, out of all the fluff that I've talked about, I think last year was like a one one season wonder. Everything was just flowing well for us. You know, it was the season after the pandemic began, after the bubble. Uh, fans, like for like about 60% of the season, fans were not allowed to, to, to come in. So despite the fact that, you know, there were no fans, I think it benefited us. Because we could just go out there and play basketball. A lot of franchises had down years. Toronto in our division had a bad year. Um, I I can't to think. Of, a lot of franchises had a bad year. I'm trying to think to the top of my head. Golden State had a bad year. So, and we were. And I think we beat Golden State twice last year. So, it you know, I'm not gonna come out here and talk about how I'm like unbelievably heartbroken over the next because I'm not shocked. I'm disappointed, but I'm not shocked. The main thing right now is give RG Barrett as much minutes as possible. Uh, give guys like Cam Sims, uh, the Quentin Grimes. I'm trying to think on uh, Mitchell Robinson. We got to play him as much as possible because we need to see if he can play or not. Cause we got, he's got, you know, we got to pay him eventually and we got to get a point guard. And I don't know if we'll draft one cause I don't, I haven't paid attention to the draft class, but we do need a point guard. If we're going to go anywhere, two things need to happen. Number one, now three things need to happen. Number one, RJ needs to be a star. He's a good player, but he's not a star. He needs to be an all-star. He needs to be uh, one of the best players. He needs to be top 20 player next season if we're going to go anywhere. Top 20. Uh, he needs to make that leap. Julius Randle has to be more consistent, and he has to be mentally focused, more mentally focused. I see a lot of the times I'm watching the games, and he's kind of to the side. He's not helping teammates up. I know I'm not a big thing on that, but it's just like he just seems a little bit a little bit too emotional, a little bit too nonchalant. I mean, you let the Knicks fans get to him a lot. You know, when they booed him, he put the thumbs down, basically cursing him out. You know, you got to know, this is New York. If you're not playing well, you're getting cursed out. You, you, you're getting booed. So he has to understand that. And then number three, we need a point guard. And a point guard who can play defense. Because if, if you're going to be in Tom Thibodeau's system, you got to play defense. I know a lot of Knicks fans want Tim Thibodeau, Tom Thibodeau fired. Don't think that's the answer at all. I don't think having him fired after getting us to the playoffs, 
getting this to a four seed miraculously is going to help our franchise. That turnover is going to hurt us. I think the main thing what we need to focus on is that we need to get focus on defense. All right, if you can't play defense, can't be on the team. I didn't. I disagreed with the son uh, Evan Fournier and. Kemba Walker. I thought they were bad signings because they don't play defense. Evan Forney has been made buckets. He's been very good on the offensive end. But what we need is defense. Defense. And we need two-way players. Two-way players. So, I did like the Cam Reddish trade in the season. And I'll go in-depth in, 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 in the next couple next coming videos. But I just want to give you my update, man. I'm not, I'm not sad. I'm disappointed. But most of all, I'm not really shocked. Uh, we just had one great, one lucky year, one one solid year. And the way we have to build is through the draft and through smart trades. And I like the Cam Reddish trade. And to be honest with you, we got we got to do whatever it takes to get a point guard. You know, RJ, RJ stays. Um, I like Mitch, but if Mitch got to go, Mitch got to go. But RJ has to stay. RJ has to stay. And I think that's the main thing is – we need to see three things happen if the Knicks are going to take that next step into uh, a perennial playoff team in the East. RJ has to be an All Star. He has to. He has to improve so much to be an All Star. Second thing, Julius Randle has to be mentally sharp. He has to be more focused on his game. Stop letting the outside distractions, you know, get to him. I felt like when he got, you know, his last year when he became an All Star and he got all the love from New York. He really took it over the head. He really felt like he was the man. He really felt like he had actually accomplished something. And he didn't. He didn't. All you did was lead us to the playoffs, which I thank you for. But we won one game against Atlanta. One game. And you are horrible in that playoff series. But, he, you know, he thinks that because of that, he should be getting eternal love. And it's just not It's just not how the guard works. It's just not how Knicks fans work, man. We, we're always on you because we want the best. I say we, but, you know. I'm not like these crazy fans spitting, but I'll go more into detail, but I just want to give you guys an update. You now, I haven't deserted the channel. The channel is still as active as possible. I still appreciate and support you guys, man. We're over like 150 subscribers. Thank you. Uh, NCAA videos are still coming, but to be honest with you, you're going to get more basketball and life talk now because I got to set that up, get the Elgato going, and it's a, it's a long process. And uh, I'm still waiting for some furniture to be delivered to my place. So that's going to be very uh, complicated. But you're going to get more like a commentary on sports and life. So but I want to thank you guys for the support, man. Thank you guys for showing love. Um, this channel is growing. And it's because of you guys, obviously. So let's, let's keep it growing. Let's keep it growing. All right. The orange and blue. No, I can't even say. It. I can't even say. It, man, we like we like eleven games below five hundred. But we had a good game against the Clippers, though. But I'm gonna end this video. I want to say thank you for your support. I'm gonna give you a long, detailed video about the Knicks in the upcoming days. Just stay alert for that. But I just want to give you a video, give you an update. I'm not going anywhere. The channel's gonna get better and better and better. 2022 is the year for us. Year for this channel, man. Uh, channel. It's gonna be a channel. Where I'm gonna put my perspective on it, and I want you, I want to have conversations with you guys. So stay alert for that. But in the meantime, I want to say thank you for watching the videos, and I'll see you soon. Peace. See ya.